Hello, I'm Abhijit. I'm a neuroscience PhD student at Mayo Clinic Rochester in Minnesota, United States. I'm also an alumnus of the 2012 batch of Ames Jodhpur. First of all, congratulations to all of you guys for starting your MBBS at this wonderful institution. You guys have worked really hard and this is one of the best possible places for your medical training. Today, I want to share with you a little bit about my experience while I was at Ames and also talk to you about how you can make good decisions and what are the various clinical and research training pathways available in the US. The five and a half years that I spent at Ames Jodhpur are some of the most memorable ones of my life. Here, I forged deep bonds of friendship, received personalized mentorship, and had an exposure to human suffering which taught me why to care and how to care, and why to be a physician. This is all in addition to a wholesome medical education and training that I received. I feel the most important aspect of my training were the seeds of intellectual and personal growth, and growth of a loving and caring heart, which were, and these seeds were planted in us by our teachers, by the various other medical staff that we came in contact with, and by our patients. I remember during one of our very first uh, orientation sessions, Dr. Kuldeep sir asked us a question. If there was a robot who knew all the medical knowledge in the world and could also imitate human expression, would there be a need for a human physician? I have really thought hard about this question over these past years because in essence what he's asking is what does it mean to be a human being? Questions such as this and several others have shaped me who I am and I'm sure you will come across these as well during your training and I want that you should not ignore them and pay a good attention to those. Um, I feel that studying and knowing things is extremely important. However, equally important if not more is wisdom and I want all of you to be open-minded to receive the wisdom that life has to teach you. Um, during my past eight or nine years of professional journey, there is uh, one of the most important things that I have learned is how to make good and effective decisions. Before I go on to that, uh, I want to share that I have put together a presentation with a summary of the various medical and clinical training pathways in US, and this should be made available to you by the Dean's office. Uh, I've also provided my email, and you guys can always write to me, and I should be able to help you guys out. So coming back to how you can make good decisions, I think that the first and the foremost thing is that you must make your decisions consciously. And what that means is knowing two aspects. One, knowing yourself. And second, knowing the world. What's meant by knowing yourself is to be aware of your inner strengths and weaknesses, your desires, your fear, your love, and everything else that shapes you. And also, knowing that you can consciously shape all of these things to get out of life uh, what you want. The second thing, knowing the world. This means being aware of the people around you, the environment, the nature around you, and knowing how things work in general. Your mentors, your friends, traveling, and reading widely is something that will help you understand the world. One of the most important things for you to break across the stereotypes that uh, you may have grown up with is to make friends which are across the boundaries of socioeconomic status, religion, caste, and everything else that, uh, all the boundaries that you guys have grown up with. And I feel that only when you know these, know people that are different from you closely, you understand that there is a shared bond of humanity that connects all of us. And this is extremely important. So when you come to know yourself and when you come to know the world, there are three questions that arise. One, um, what are you good at? Second, what is most important to you? And third, what is the need of this time? And I believe that a harmonious answer to all of these three questions is what leads to a fulfilling life. At this stage, I cannot tell you whether or not this philosophy will succeed in long-term future, but what I can tell you is this is something that has really helped work for me and is something that has been taught to me by my, uh, by my mentors. And I hope this serves you well.
Um, I really hope that I can meet some of you while I visit India and I wish you all the best for a great medical training ahead. Take care and goodbye.